Hey guys, welcome back to another cast with Trin following Tyson, and I just wanted to put things in a proper perspective because the last record, now look, you guys, this is like my 10th recording on just, just trying to get this October thing uh, in, in a proper perspective, so I don't know what's going on with this, it's okay, I'd never give up, and uh, I'm never gonna not let this criteria get out because of like stupid stuff like that. But anyways, uh, so let's just let's take up some trend following psychology from the one of the greatest trend followers of all time, and we did look at this um on the last thing. But like I said, it kept saying that um I kept saying August so horrible. Because it's not August we're looking at. We're actually looking at October. Okay, so um, trader psychology, trend following psychology, disregarding the big swing and trying to jump in and out was fatal to me. Nobody can catch all the fluctuations in a bull market. Your game is to buy and hold until you believe that the bull market is near its end. To do this, you must study general conditions and not tips or special factors affecting individual stocks. Remember I told you guys I did like IGC and some of those other stocks, but because of the special factors affecting them, which was the marijuana hemp news, that and the third, I was not leaning in their favor. I need consistent higher highs and lows. Uh, this is going to be about not disregarding the big swing in October. We're going to be riding the big swing all the way through October, and that's how we get these points to pile up is when we sit tight through. These. How do we sit tight inside these runs? We take the signals we're supposed to take. Nobody can catch the fluctuations. So we're not trying to catch daily fluctuations in and outside of points. Um, mostly from the long term. If you're looking at the long term trim, those daily fluctuations are going to be mainly just noise. Not going to be um, trading with the predominant. Not going to be catching the. Okay, so uh, that from coming from uh, Jesse Livermore, okay, beautiful stuff there. Um, we will not disregard the big swing here in October. This month, we'll actually, part of the big swing, and we already are part of a few. Um, we missed MRNS breaking out. Let's jump into the trend picture. We we missed MRNS breaking out of eight, uh, but we caught it at nine, going up over before we got into. MRNS, we're riding that. Looking to catch a ride on MRNS now. You can take along with your first stop of support level is going to be 980. Your second level is going to be down here at 960, 955. Okay. RNS through the month of October. Month. All right. IMMP. IMMP. All right. Um, definitely, definitely something you might not want to on I I M M. Kind of have to pan out to get it. Uh, this thing definitely on for continuation. You busting up, pan out even further. Kind of breaking down five year time frame. Definitely knocking down price in the five year, and um, this is this is major right. Thing can continue. Definitely start eating up this chart. It has some a lot of prices knocked through on that. Um, on that, I am MP for continuation. Stop yourself out below three twenty and three uh, three forty and three thirty five of the support level. AMRN. A lot of traders long and running this thing. Let's see what it's about. I like. I, I'll show you what what's going on with this. Either when we gap up, sometimes you can just buy that gap up, but I like to buy the follow through on that. So. Uh, the follow through is on this thing now. I like it because it followed through, not just because it gapped up, because it gapped up here at 10 and then followed through onto 11. So I'd actually should have been buying the breakthroughs of 11 and 12. Okay, for a stock there, you can stop yourself out. 16 port levels. First level here at uh 1560. And then, uh, well, actually, you should be stopping yourself out here. Tight stop at 16. And then give it another space at 1570 and then below this 20-day uh, moving 
be your actual stop as well. Uh, your stop should be below 20 day prices with is what price is respecting. I haven't even stopped there either. AMRN to get long on that thing. I, I like that for continuation. I think that put up a good fight through the. Uh, so the things that are starting out this month strong and con the things that are starting out the month strong, that's what we're going to continue. Hopefully we can continue to out through the whole month. Remember, uh, Bruce Kovner said, hopefully we can enjoy positions working in our favor. And as long as, as positions are working in our favor, we have nothing to do. Our hands are tied. Okay, so we're not collecting big points if we're not letting these trends work. So let's take our entries, our winning entries. And let's just let our winners run. Okay. All right. So AMRS, you see line here and it's sitting back inside this line here like this thing continuation not below 775 okay rs for like what that thing's doing sq's on the move good trend followers in my club trade in the trend followers club in my room trade in trading this thing shots out to stock god and all those guys in the discord and make progress over the over the year here over the time SQ for continuation. I like that thing to get through a hundred to approach a hundred dollars uh, to get back to this level and kind of poke through that holding up support level here. Remember, we call this thing calling a play to get through a hundred. So I like that thing to hold up ninety nine and to stop through ninety eight. Good for continuation. Just follow the momentum, guys. Follow these uptrends. Follow momentum. One thing I have to say, another thing, let me make another valid point. The reason why we buy five, six, and seven dollar stocks when they act, when they match our criteria and they show some upside potential. The reason why we buy six and seven dollar stocks right here, one of the one of the main home runs we had this year, Intel sat. One of the biggest home runs we had. Uh took this thing at seven and it's a thirty dollar stock now. Imagine imagine making ten trades like this a year. It'd wipe out a whole bunch of little losers. Probably you'd, you'd, you'd be sitting real well if you can make a few trades like this a year. Intel, SAT, TNDM, MNK, some of the home runs we hit this year, okay? And we'll, we'll try to close out the year with a few more big home runs. See which one of these stocks is going to really open up for us. Make sure we have the right stocks. That's why it's also important we have the right stocks on our list because how do we? if we don't have the right stocks on our list, how do we know what's running from 5 to 50? If we don't catch it, if we don't see it from 5 to 7 to 8, and then it running through 10 and up towards 50. We need to be watching these stocks. So this is one that we saw moving outside of breaking outside of this range, caught it at seven and had a big run. Keep trying to hit these kind of home runs. Uh, that's what that's what that's what my trend following is about. And that's what trend. That's what my approach and trend following is about. And that's why I like um, this trend following approach, because I like to catch these bigger runs kind of. Uh, Millions and the billions that these guys have made kind of speak for themselves inside this process. It's the same process we're same process we're using, guys. Uh, I like this thing kind of lifting off. You guys know when we see these rockets lifting off the landing um, space, there we start taking our long. So upside here, pull back, upside, upside here, flattening out, upside, and then we're starting to kind of lift off here. Prices starting to show activity to the upside. I'll show it better here, lifting off here. And then price is kind of having higher, consistent higher highs and lows pull back there. And we're looking for some higher highs and lows coming inside of I and N. Boy, if that chart decides to open up, when we look to the left of it, we've got some space here, things to knock over, but we're attempting to. But when we start looking to the left of this chart, we got some numbers here. We can, okay, that's how we know what kind of potential we possibly could have inside a stock. Embev with a super lot of market cap behind this stock looking really well and I like what it's doing now um, I could see uh, some consistent price action to the upside so let's see what happens here I like this thing where it's at now to take a long where it's at now and uh, kind of stop yourself out below five and see what this thing can get going here a lot of people pushing Embev. okay this American movie thing looking well um, one of the better stocks a lot of market cap um, hasn't, um, excuse me, not one of the better stocks, sort of, but just has a lot of upside to it, a lot of decency behind the stock, a lot of market cap. And if this thing decides to keep up the strength, this momentum that it's doing, all we're basically doing is following momentum, following up trends, and following these prices to the right, okay? So we just take 100 signals, like 100 signals, these trend following signals, we don't know which ones are going to work, cut our losers. Hopefully, we have about 50 losers and 50 winners. If we're lucky, 
and those 50 winners will definitely if they're good up trends and we let them run man they will by golly wipe out 10 of those g decent winners will wipe out uh all 50 of those losers talking about 100 trades i like amc for continuation to stop below two but flow 20 dollars and a stop below 1975 but i like this thing continue and start knocking some prices down. amc so i like it i like a stop below there stop below 20 stop below 1950 and uh but i like this thing to take along on this consolidation amc for continuation mgy looking really good really good looking stock here mgy at 15 uh see what kind of ground it's covered uh just lift it off remember what i just got done saying about stocks lifting off showing you some upside consistent upside we just take these longs there's no head and shoulders here these entries to uptrends mainly guys are patterns are going to be entries and ex entries to uptrends entries to uptrends is our main patterns and those are going to either be pullbacks or breakouts you could have bought this thing lifting off here and that's going to be like a breakout kind of breaking out of the last candle you buy this kind of consistent higher highs and lows sit tight and let that thing rock out remember i said if you can take 100 of these trades uh you know 50 of them might not work 50 of them might you know 20 of them might go flat you know, 20 of them might break even. The other 30 of them, you should always settle for a small loss. But your winners, you want to average into your winners and let your winners kind of just rock out, okay? MGY here, definitely for continuation. Let's get a stop below 1485 and a stop below 1465. MGY, I like that thing. Following that whole oil and gas thing. We're going to look at a few oil and gas things here before we close up. So Sprint looking well, kind of at the higher side of its chart. Kind of at the higher side of its chart kind of knocking down this little candle here so i like this for continuation after the 20 and the one after the 20 and the 200 cross we've seen this thing a hundred guys trend following time when you got a hundred times we saw this trend following with tyson we saw this a hundred times the 20 and the 200 crossing and prices going to the upside slow mover here but we see us rounding on the one year time frame Boy, we can start opening up this chart and we look really well. I like this curling at the top of this. Okay, so print looking well, holding up price. CRBP. Pharmaceutical. All right, it's not that I, it's sometimes if a stock, if you guys remember, if a list comes out and it has a lot of pharmaceuticals, a lot of bio this, we're just following price, guys. We don't, we can't pick and choose what prices what things are going to break out and this and that we can only take what the market has given us if the market is breaking out and bought pharmaceuticals and there's about 100 pharmaceuticals to pick from we have to put our criteria criteria in that matches up the stocks that we buy and we have to take those longs okay we're not going to buy all 100 of them but we have to buy what fits us and we can't be crying about you know what we do and don't want to trade we have to take what the market gives us i like this thing to approach this 20-day moving average you see it really winding up here and kind of show some continuation on crbp might be one of the winners out of october okay csbr i'm long on this thing might if, if this thing continues the, all the way throughout um through through october without having a major correction like this from 15 to 12 then i'll sit tight okay these minor corrections are fine. These major ones will kind of get me stopped out of some prices. I'm going to be totally on. I might have to buy back. I hate getting whipped around. But uh, if we can get some regular movement all the way through October, I'll be sitting tight through this. As well as I'll be sitting tight all the way um, through October on MN. Okay, through this month on MNRS. And some other longs. I don't have a lot of longs right now. I'm going to open up some more. I freed up some capital so I can kind of fit some of so I'm long this thing at 17, just enjoying the movement here. Uh, kind of went up here to almost 18 and pulled back, but I, I love this pullback as stocks need. I like CSBR with the stop below 17, barely trying to get a ride on that thing. And it's pulling back, so you might get a perfect entry on that before prices take off. Remember, I was going to show you guys something about this oil and gas. Here's this NOG sitting at a 52 up here. I see this thing breaking out soon, kind of following this oil and gas thing. All right. I like it with a with a long where it's at now with a stop below these these, these support levels here at 385. 390 is the level there, but give you always give yourself some space at about uh 385 and so forth. Okay. 5, 375. Give yourself a decent stop on that. EC, one beautiful stock that I kind of uh watch this here all the way back here in this 
another reason why we take our entries on three, four, five, six, seven dollar stocks and we don't question the market. We just take our entry. Things break out and they start lifting off. We take our entries. Remember, I told you guys this pattern doesn't really have a specific name. It's not head and shoulders. It's not a cup and handle. It's not the Batman signal and all that kind of stuff. It's just consistent higher highs and lows. And we get long. That's all we need to see to get long to catch these home runs. You could have bought this thing breaking out at 10 and rolled this thing up to six. Perfect. And I saw that thing all year trading. That Echo Petrol. I saw that thing trading all year long. All when it was back in this area making all these so ECYT perfect example why I'm a trend follower and I'm trying to be the best trend follower I can be hopefully uh, these guys can put my name in the book with some of these greats like uh, Jerry Parker and David Harding and some of these okay um, Bruce Kovner and other wealthy ECYT, I saw when it was making this move here. Also, another reason show and prove you guys why we buy four, five, and six, seven dollar stocks when they match our criteria. I saw this thing when it broke out here and then it came and made this curl. I started buying this thing and took it for a nice profit up here and then uh, started selling it when it's pulled back here and just failed to go back and trend, follow this thing. Even though I don't like cutting out my full position, even though if this thing would pull back here, I'd like to leave. 30% of my percent that's this is a perfect reason why we're trend for when we're trend following especially me if I take an entry here at five dollars this thing goes to eleven dollars pulls back to ten dollars or it's nine inside this area I might cut off 70% of my position and let the third other 30% totally work out and and this is the reason why when you let your positions work because if you leave 30% of your position to work even and sit inside this pullback and continue look how much other upside you got another 10 points out of this just from letting your position sit so that's why I don't do not like cutting out my full position following on a stock I take 75% when we get that big drop about 70 70% when we get that big drop and I let the rest of my position sit there and work that trend because sometimes these things have a lot of upside remember i said these things are not done before you'll be quitting your position before these uptrends are done here goes another one following this oil and gas thing dnr as you can see we had it mapped out inside of our trend line back when we first started running this show that was back towards may april and may when i first started a uh, trend following here on this show and we were trend following with dnr we had it mapped out and look what it did since then busted out of our little top zone here and just continued to the upside and doubled itself another good another reason why we follow three four five six dollar stocks and make the when they start making these levels here and these nice just a hundred times, guys, I showed you guys, this is the pattern. This is the pattern we're going to take here. This is going to be our cream and our crop here. This pattern here doesn't even have a name, guys. We're going to take these consistent higher highs and lows at this 2 o'clock trajectory and just keep taking them. If we can take 100 trades like this and let, let our position sit and work, boy, we'll be tripling, quadrupling, uh, quant, quant, quantifying our positions, okay? Uh, I, thank you guys for uh, joining this show with 10... Uh, Thank you guys for joining me here. Uh, we'll be back in the middle of the week. We'll see what good dogs are working and we'll see what dogs have quit. We'll see what good trends are still in an uptrend and we'll see what trends have kind of failed to be laggers. The laggers we're going to cut. The winners we're going to keep and we're going to add into our winners and we're going to let our winners double and triple and quadruple themselves while we sit tight and uh, try to catch these. Uh, resemble Ed Sykota with 250% returns over our career, okay? Let's keep following the masters and keep doing what we need to do, guys, to be good trend followers, okay? So happy trend follow. Enjoy the weekend, and let's have a o happy October. Let's rock this month out, guys, all right?